You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. So saw, we also saw in 2020, we saw in Fairfax, Virginia. We saw in other places where popular deeds were defeated. Uh, places, uh, counties there in New York State as well. So the reality is we are seeing, we, well, first of all, what we're seeing is we're seeing uh, where people are now actually challenging DAs. After Michael Brown was killed, Bob McCullough had no competition. It was in the next election when Wesley Bell ran against him. And so we actually are seeing that. We're now seeing people who realize that, wait a minute, if we go after the DA's job, but, no, no, no. Yeah. If we go after the DA's job, then that has a direct impact on criminal justice because they're deciding who gets prosecuted and who doesn't. And so what we're now and what we're now seeing is you're now seeing grassroots organizations that are putting money behind progressive candidates. And so we are seeing a shift take place in this country and it has to start somewhere and it's already started. Well, may maybe, but I guess not. I maybe it is. Not maybe no, it is. Yeah, I, I can't deny those elections that you're talking about. Well, don't say what maybe it is. is. Look at look at how effective that pro those progressive prosecutors are or can be because they're limited by the police union and the police culture that is still not comfortable with their consciousness. No, they're will. not. Until yeah, Scott, that changes, that's just wrong. You're not going to have no, 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 Scott, no, Scott, you're wrong. No, you're wrong, Scott. No, what is, I'm not no, wrong. That's Scott, you are wrong. You, don't, you, don't you are wrong. The, 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 job the job of the DA, the job of the DA isn't solely about prosecuting cops. What we have seen by electing progressive DAs, we have seen expungement of marijuana convictions. We have seen them decide they're not going to prosecute. Don't disagree with that. So, so the whole but point. I, can they be effective without the police support? That's easy. What I'm they can and be effective by be, saying you no longer going to run going this to office. For instance, them. you saw you saw in Chicago where a prosecutor went to court and essentially gave the police version of a shooting of a 13 year old kid when. When the real story came out, Kim Fox like, ah, you got to go. So the right. old way of doing business where we could do whatever we want. Same thing in Dallas County. John Cruzo, when he became the DA there, prosecuting, the, uh, prosecuting uh, a, a, a policeman conduct there as well. What we have seen, we are seeing more and more examples of progressive DAs assuming authority and willing to challenge police departments and Monique not being penalized for it. You're seeing moments, not moves. No, we actually we are That's seeing a moment. You're seeing Scott, moments. Scott, a You're moment, not seeing Scott, moments. a moment you was when one to. Scott, a moment is when one or two are elected. A movement is when you have five, eight, ten, twelve. 15. That's a movement a because that's called moving. You're not making a dent. You want to. That's your liberalism telling you that this is a movement. It is, and it's minuscule. I'm sorry. If you go from if you go from one to 15, what the hell is that than a movement? That's what is not that? A movement out of out of 2,000 prosecutors, you got a little moment. You got no, Scott. Moments. It's a movement. It's a movement when they're also being impacted in, in, in the major in cities where in black here, black folks are mass incarceration. Monique, go ahead. Thank you. So well, back yes, to this one, Monique. If, Thank you. No, I'm I'm not, Scott. No, stop <laughs> it. If if one prosecutor is Cook County. If one prosecutor is Baltimore, obviously, Scott, that's representative of 200, dare I say, 1,000 prosecutors in other smaller jurisdictions. So I agree with Roland that if we are looking at large um, metro areas where we are electing or appointing prosecutors who are using their discretion, not just in the area of police misconduct, but in other areas where nonviolent offenses uh, can get a, a different ruling than they have previously, where marijuana convictions can get overturned, where people can um, have other options other than mandatory prison sentences because it's all in the DA or the prosecutor's discretion, then that is making a major dent in areas where it matters. So I agree with Robert 
and with Roland and not with you, Scott, not with you on and, this. And Monique, well, Robert, go ahead, Robert, and, go ahead. And Monique, to your point, I think one thing that we've seen with Marilyn Mosby and uh, what we saw in Oregon uh, actually is that we've started seeing prosecutors unilaterally be able to decriminalize blackness. Because guess what? When the prosecutor announces, I'm not going to prosecute any marijuana charges going forward, and also you cannot use that as probable cause for a stop, that get, disincentivizes police to make false uh, uh, false traffic stops that didn't escalate. Where they all, they have to say, I smoke <coughs> strong scent of marijuana, and that's what made me uh, go through a further check without a warrant. Uh, have you decriminalized uh, sets, uh, or sets work, for example? Well, now you don't have an excuse to execute warrants on people. Have you decriminal, uh, decriminalized petty offenses and say we're going to have municipal violations and community service instead of jail time? Well, now we stop some of those police interactions that often escalate because what we've often seen in police shooting cases is a direct escalation from a minor misdemeanor stop for no apparent reason uh, into something which is a fatal <clears throat> event. So we stop prosecuting people for truancy, vagrancy, loitering, uh, cruising. Air fresheners. Yeah, yeah, air fresheners, cruising in districts. <clears throat> There used to be a law in Atlanta. You couldn't cruise around five times the same area without getting pulled over by the cops. You get rid of those things. You yeah. lower police interactions. You have real, like, criminal justice reform, and it's sweeping the nation. It's not yeah, isolated. Yeah, but, guys, I don't disagree with any of that. I just don't think it's a movement. It's it's a moment, if you will. Well, Scott, define a movement. Grow, okay, Scott, define a movement. How, how many? How many is a movement? Well, well, ask me in a year, and I'll tell you. But it's okay. I don't need the three of you all to agree with me to know I'm right about this. No, you're but, not right. You're wrong as hell. But, but Scott, answer this. I, I don't need you. Scott, you, you about as wrong as that right. damn sun. You about as wrong as that damn sunlight in the middle of your face on this on this video. <laughs> Look, Scott. What major city right now does not have? does not have a progressive DA. If you look at our major county, if you look at LA, if you look at Chicago, DC, Baltimore, New York, uh, uh, Atlanta, Atlanta uh, Miami, Dallas, Texas, Houston, all of them have major progressive DAs who are trying to push through the, these sorts of reforms. So if every population center is already being led by a progressive movement, I don't see how you can say that's not a movement because you know Montgomery, Alabama, or you know Brunswick, Georgia doesn't have a progressive DA yet. Anything I said else? my piece. Anything else? Got it. All right, folks, back to our Roadblock Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.